This week, the state will celebrate the 175th anniversary of when the first pioneers entered the Salt Lake Valley. To mark this important date, a new monument will soon be dedicated at This Is The Place Heritage Park in Salt Lake. Ashley Moser has this story. For nearly a year, work has been underway for some impressive sculptures with a rich history. Pioneers from 1847 whose stories have been waiting to be told. Their story most people don't know about that there were black pioneers and let alone enslaved pioneers. It all began when uh, two wonderful people came, Molly Bonner and Tamu Smith. Together, they discussed a monument featuring faithful black Latter-day Saint pioneers, both enslaved and free. At Green Flake, a 19-year-old young man driving the first wagon in this pioneer trek in the Vanguard group. He was celebrated during his time. He spoke at Pioneer Day multiple times alongside leaders and somehow those stories got lost but they're back they're back also park wales and oscar smith they are actually brothers-in-law to green flake brigham young sent them through two days ahead of him to blaze a trail for tens of thousands of pioneers to follow and a third statue of a faithful pioneer woman jane elizabeth manning james she's one of the first black women that came through with the um, Mormon pioneers. She was not enslaved, and I think that that's important for people to know because as we portray this monument and as we display the monument, the three men that came through with the Vanguard Company, they were enslaved. And Jane actually was not, she was one of very few black people that came here of her own free will. She felt like God had told her to come, and so that's what she did. Well, I'm a descendant of both Jane and Green Flake. And, um, you know, our family has been here since 1847. We're still here. We're still members of the community. And it's going to be very nice to see our family being honored in this way. Soon, these bronze sculptures will find a place of honor at This Is The Place Heritage Park in Salt Lake City. Behind them, there will be some beautiful stone pillars there that will be, or stone rocks, that will be there describing their lives and how they got here. Wife and husband Stephanie and Roger Hunt are the sculptors. We've put everything we could to make these into um, beautiful sculptures to look upon. I have pioneer ancestors and uh, their stories give me strength and hopefully these stories that we're trying to tell can give others strength that haven't had a place to look in their past. I really I feel like we need to bring forward the, the history of our, our black sisters and brothers. These are important people. These stories and monument will be on permanent display near the entrance of the park. Our story becomes important to the greater pioneer story and it's important to the greater pioneer story because we are part of those great pioneers. To be able to have representation of people that look like me is so important, not just for people that look like me, but for people to, who don't look like me to know that we were there. Well, that was Ashley Moser reporting. This Friday at 10 a.m., President M. Russell Ballard from the Quorum of the Twelve will perform the de dedication at This Is The Place Heritage Park. The public is welcome to attend. The event will mark the 175th anniversary of when Green Flake, Oscar Smith, and Hark Wells entered the valley. A concert at the park that evening will feature Alex Boyer, the Bonner family, and other performers. Well, today, the cool cycling